All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen of uh, the internet, or peoples of the internet, to be all inclusive? This is a uh, this is great. This is a uh, I've been getting back into the world of Warcraft, and uh, that's pretty that's pretty fun. It's uh, uh I've been playing for years, and I haven't really capped a character. And, uh, I don't know, I don't, like, everything moves so fast, you get into dungeons, so I don't, really don't know what's, what's going on with the lore. So I'm just in, like, Heavenly Place, I think it was called Stormwind, or something? I don't know. It's got a lot of marble, though. And we were just kind of sitting around, waiting on a tank, and then, you know, as usual, the tank pops in and just, like, charges in like a caffeinated crackhead but this is blog vlog we're just talk about stuff i'm into and what i'm doing obviously world of warcraft right now i'm gonna contextualize some of the thumbnails for you if that suits your fancy and uh we'll run through this get you together I also talk about a tutorial that I did, an upcoming tutorial that's going to be a video, but I also do... Oh, there's there's the caffeinated, crack-headed tank. It always happens. You're waiting forever. They just come sprinting out, hopping like a jumping bee, going... Everybody else in the game is so mellow, but then the tank shows up, and it's like, I gotta pull things! And then they screw up, but they're always the ones to bail from the group. That's just uh, how it goes. This was uh, my first time actually playing through this dungeon. Like I said, it's, uh, uh, I haven't capped a character yet. I've been playing since like 08. Still ain't done it. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm not entirely sure. But I guess I'm just not patient enough. This was, uh, I think last Monday's thumbnail. I was kind of having a, kind of having a rough day. I come home, do job, doing a lot of trading, and there's just like trolls in my feed and a bunch of negative stuff, and, you know. But it, but I slogged through. I was like, you know, I can dig it. I'm gonna I'm gonna paint today. So th so things got a little they got a little weird and and abstract, which was a good thing. It's it's paint. It's good to paint in different sorts of moods. You know, I used to you know, gotta. Got a couple of faces going on there, and one of the heads has got this, this swirly kind of thing going back off into the background. And, you know, what I like about the thumbnails, pulling the painting outside of the other painting, is it's allowing for, like, a series and continuity with, uh, with my colors. That red I get, I use that red as a background so I could see my thumbnail pop out and a lot of times it gets incorporated in you know I always use like an opposite color so I can I could tell what I'm trying to to draw out of the painting and a lot of times you know I wind up using it because it just it seems to work contrasting colors and I really I really liked the feel of this one and especially once I put in those uh, uh, northernly lights the purple and the green. I don't know. I think it. I think it kind of ties it together. It was a happy surprise because I really, I wasn't paying attention to the art. I was, I was in a mood. I was in a mood, and then by the time I was done with this, like I started in a bad mood, and then by the time I was done, I was in a good mood. And then behold, behold the power of painting. That 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 green eye sells it. The green eye sells it. That was. That was a wise decision to my conceited self. But if you want to see that one finished, let me know. Again, thumbnails are just kind of kind of one-off, just concepts, drawings, the sketchbook. Nothing, nothing too too serious. Back to Bree Talk. That's that's my troll avatar's name. That's uh, uh he really doesn't know what's going on, but he knows his role. He knows what he is supposed to do. He's the shadow priest. A priest of the shadows. Meaning he can cast spells 
and he can heal the sick. That's what he does. Essentially, he, you know, throws orbs at people and, and, and shoots purple jizz at monsters and, you know, applies some sensual, sensual healing to those wayworld travelers that need it. That's his job. It's not much for melee hand-to-hand -hand combat or anything. I mean, he could do it, but it's kind of like slapping the enemy with a wet noodle. It just, it just doesn't seem to work out that way. And, uh, yeah, really, really weird dungeon. I really like the, the glass, the glass walkways. It's got a neat feel to it. Hey, what's up, Mr. Toy Fox Plays? How you doing today? But, yeah, this is just ramblings of World of Warcraft and art in a minute. I think up next, up, oh, up next is the tutorial from last week. The speed edit, not the actual tutorial. Just, just a quick overview. There she be. It was based off of, I made a banner based off of the votes in my Facebook group. Breaking Arts and Music. It's pretty cool. You can find it in the links, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's down there. I see it. It's in the links. But I go over all the different selection tools that are at your disposal in the Photoshop. Minus the pin tool. Uh, some channel art? Yeah, we, we might be able to, to arrange something. I gotta type this message for real quick. There we go. But, yeah, it made, a, made a cool planet. Dropped it in, in the background. Threw in a mountain. And let's see, I used the, uh, the, the magic wand tool, which I wound up not using. And the magic select tool. It was a good time. I had a lot of questions. Had a lot of support. There's a few people watching. And yeah, yeah, we could probably arrange some. I'll, I'll check out your channel a little bit later. I got, I got you in there, Mr. Toy Fox Plays. He's one logo for his channel. I gotta check it out. Uh, I don't Skype, but you, but you could tweet it at me. Uh, Breaking Art One. It's pretty good. That's where it's at. But yeah, just some some cool, groovy planets with some music notes. Nice, fun banner. And I had a lot of help from Northernly Lit. She contributes a lot to this channel. We've done uh, some collaborative things through here. It's been pretty good. Uh, there is a link. Oh, you know what? I do one step better. I got this. I got this. Let's, let's see if we can do this. I got this uh, all planned out here and that one. Does it work? Okay. Okay, that didn't work. I tried to I tried to show a card for a channel. I don't know how to do it. I'm uh uh I'm still kinda new to all this. I'm an older feller. Yeah, those the, the killing those elementals. They get a little redundant. I don't know what that lightning was falling out of the sky. Like I'm completely lost. I've been playing this game for like eight years, and I, I'm still completely, completely lost. Completely lost at this game. Have no idea what's going on. I don't know nothing about the lore because there's never you're running dungeons and. People just zip through and you get left behind, so I never I never read the questuses. So all I know is, you know, resurrect people, I press I press one, and then I press three. That's that's my shadow. I, I my devouring plague. And then I get more orbs, and then I send my little minion guy out, and then I press five, and that sprays my purple jizz. That's, that's pretty good. Stand close to the green dragon things. They give you health. Somebody usually, the healer usually puts that out there for you. Which is a good thing. There I got my orbs. I made this a little long. This dungeon was a little long for just a simple log. After this, I'm probably going to crank out one of, one of the thumbnail sketches. 
the thumbnail paintings. Now, I don't know what this dragon is, but there's another dragon exactly like it that, that breathes ice. And we really showed that dragon a what for. A for what? I don't know. But we took care of it. Now this, the first time I was in this dungeon, everything was dead. I had to catch up to the group. And this wind blew me right off the bridge. So, so I was a little hesitant this time, crossing. What's this one? Is this another thumbnail? I believe this is another thumbnail. This one was... Oh yeah, the sleeping, the sleeping dinosaur. Or the sleeping uh, reptilian-like thing. I did this thumbnail right after the tutorial from last week. Completely exhausting. Full day. You know, 10 hours at work. Come home. Do a tutorial. And then, you know, I was behind like I am today. And so I had to, had to crank out another sketchbook thumbnail. I sit there looking all fatigued and tired. I was like, huh. That looks like a thunder lizard. A baby thunder lizard. Sleeping. Peacefully. Getting some rest. For a big day. A big day. Will it grow up? Who knows. If it grows up, you know, I bet it's going to eat like, you know, mammals and, you know, maybe even people. It could eat people. That could be its thing. Its little, uh, bag of tricks. I mean, nutrition's good. I mean, a dinosaur, you know, you can, if it gets big, it can't, it can't be eating squirrels all the time. And, you know, you need, you need nutritional value. It, it feeds the body and it gives the body energy without... Nobody, nobody wants to see any animal starve. So you know, if you gotta eat people, you gotta eat people. You got, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. So you can't hold it if this nice little dinosaur grows up to eat people. It's just, it's just the way that things work. I was a little disappointed. I got too tired. I wanted to put more detail into it. But it, it just didn't happen. I was I was falling asleep at the tablet and I had to move on to to other things. It was it was time to move along home, Jack. Move along home, Jack. Now up oh, up oh, here's here's redundant dinosaur number two with the frost breath. Er not dinosaur, but dragon. The thunder lizards. Same thing, different colors. But you know, I got my uh, <laughs> I got my trusty, my 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 trusty purple jizz. My purple jizz laser takes care of it. It actually just buys me time so I could you know slam it with my devouring plague. You know, everybody's like shadow priest is worthless until you know I kill him deliver that that finishing blow it's just how it goes these tornadoes confuse the heck out of me it's like you gotta right click some weird arrow don't know what that's about but i thought once i figured it out i thought it was pretty cool first time i, I just jumped right into it <laughs> fell off the map do not pass go start at the beginning now, now, now we're gonna just fight these, uh, forget what they're called, mythology, they're like Persian, like pre-Griffin, not Peter Griffin, but like before the Griffin, I don't know, I got a lot of information to hold in my head, I can't remember things like I used to, cause I'm like, learning new stuff at the job, the monkey job, and uh, uh trying to figure out this silly game. And, you know, learning the Adobes and the Photoshops and the Premieres. So, you can't hold it against me if, like, off the top of my head, some of the mythos and the names of people of the game or, like, Greek or Persian mythology that I just, I just can't hang. That's just how it goes. What's up? Welcome back. I wish I could run like that tornado wind all the time. Now, I don't know if any of you guys play the World of Warcraft, 
But I don't understand this this lightning period pyramid. Like, am I supposed to stand outside the pyramid or stand inside the pyramid? I can never I can never figure that out. It's, it's hard to tell what's the bad guy spell from the good guy spell. See, my health is. I think I'm supposed to stand inside the blue lightning pyramid and continue on with the purple jizz. Photo lab. Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Again, really tired when I did this piece. But I took these photos in Key Marathon, the Florida Keys. That little that little uh, pot sculpture right there, that was that was in the motel, and I asked the motel for permission to use it, and they're like, "We don't give a, you know, they said a bad word." And I was like, "Well, who's the artist so I can give accreditation and give credit where credit is due?" And they're like, we don't know, we just get the people to sign the thing and we give them key, and key gets them into room, and room lets them sleep. And, yeah, <laughs> so I have no idea who made that beautiful pot. The stars, I love me, like, some light photography. Taking, taking you some pictures of the stars. Let's see, let's check out this pic. I just got sent a pic. A pic to review. Oh, that's cool! That is wicked, wicked cool. That is a slick fox there, sir. So you're wanting a logo based off that? I think we can work something out. But, uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Just, I took, I think it was like six, the rules with photo lab is I take six photos that I have and juxtapose them together in an interesting composition. Those steps that you saw earlier, I wanted a bunch of steps and do some weird, funky perspective thing, but that didn't, that didn't quite work out the way that I wanted it to work out. So I might, you know, I just left a barrier, a little barrier, signed it, and called it a done deal. But, yep, that's a, like, what is it, Starry Sunset? I don't know. I came up with some unoriginal, uninspired name. It was like Stars and Sunset. Now, I just don't know what happened to this, uh, what is it, centaur cat guy, but he got stuck. He got MPC stuck. Either that or that's a spell. I couldn't tell, but I was completely oblivious that he was there. I was just standing around like a feeb, firing, you know, my purple stuff. And there's a bad guy right next to me. I didn't even know it. Didn't even know. Wasn't even paying attention. I was too busy looking at the healer chick. I walk right in front of him. And then I was like, oh, oh, wait a second. That's a dude. Hit him with the purple jizz. Get him. Get him. You know, that's, that, that's how we do. That's how we do around here. I don't know. My brain doesn't operate on like... It operates on like two levels. So, like, there's all sorts of movement and stuff going around. I have no idea what's going on in this game. Now, I should have levitated down this thing. You know, I know it didn't hurt me too bad. But, you know, if you can levitate and, and not hurt yourself... That's a good thing. Even though my health comes back by the time, you know, it only comes back in like two seconds. It's, it's no big deal, but, you know, it's just a, a personal thing. You know, you don't want to sprain an ankle or nothing. Even though you got the, the green dragon, green healy jizz. And, oh, yeah, no problem. No problem. Thanks for the stub. But, yep. Somebody gave me some awesome angel orbs. Help me, help me fight that guy that kills me eventually. This was, you know, a lot of art is failure. It's epic failure. This is what I do on Fridays. The digital R&D, where I just experiment. Now, I did that drawing, that, that pencil and ink drawing, when I was a, a, so, supposed to be learning stuff at work. I wasn't paying attention, and I was just doodling. And I thought, you know, this would be good for Friday. I will bring this into the photoshops on Friday and make something badass and cool. But I don't think it worked out that way. 
I, by Friday, I was I was really spent, and I made the mistake. I had a I had a couple of beers. I I'm not gonna lie. I had a couple of beers, and uh, it just it didn't happen. I I learned some things along the way, which is good. I saw some cool effects, but it didn't it didn't just quite have the feel that I wanted. So there's probably you're probably only gonna see this here. There's not going to be a speed paint thumbnail, nothing like that for this one. I might bring back the character at another time or do another pencil sketch, but this one, this one is done, son. It had potential, and I dropped the ball. I dropped the ball. Oh, dude, double thanks, man. I, pr I appreciated the tweet to the steams. That's always, that's always fun. Uh, yeah, the, the title, I, I'm still here. I'm not, I'm not going to be back at Nine Mountain. That was, that was from the live thing. You'll see those, those pop up from time to time. That's just, that's just how it happens. But I got the stars in there and then I started doing the overlay. I thought that looked really cool. But again, not quite there. Not quite to my standard of excellence, which isn't saying much. But I was so proud of that painting. I like, took it and like my son drew this painting of a boat and I just slapped it right over top of it. I was like, what? Whose house is this? This is my drawing. This is my drawing space. I'm just kidding. I don't have any kids that I know about. You know, I'm sure they're out there, but nobody's told me nothing. I'm not, like, getting war gar uh, wages garnished or anything like that. So, so apparently it's not too big of an issue. I come out of the ju uh, the jugun uh, dungeon, and that's what happened. That's what happened. Immediately out of the dungeon in, uh, what is the Hellfire, Hellfire Peninsula, I done got got it. I done got got it.